I don't like the Toyota Velfire. So this is something that I told to my team and my boss decided for me to review a used one. So this is actually a Velfire from 2017, the third gen. Will this experience change my perception towards this boxy MPV? This is Seb from Carlis and stick around. There's actually something very, very special about this unit from 2017. Now, there are several reasons why I am not a fan of the Toyota Velfire. For one thing, it's actually a big MPV. So it looks heavy and it's very, very square. The Velfire is a huge hit amongst Malaysians, especially in the used car, recon and grey import segment. So you're bound to see a number of them every time you drive on the road. So it's a very popular car for a lot of you out there but I think it's because of what the car has to offer as a whole other than looks. So it's quite a long one too at just about 5 meters but I think the 18 inch wheels is a nice touch. So that's the thing about these MPVs. There are so many ways that you can customize it to make it your own. So it's a bit limited on the outside. For example, like you can add a body kit, change the wheels, change the tires. But on the inside, you can do so much more. Still not a fan of its boxy look though. But that again, this is subjective. You might like it, some people might not. So on the inside, is pretty much a standard affair for a Toyota. So you get a very nice meter combination display for the driver, aircon controls, and for the center screen, the owner actually upgraded it to a slightly bigger Android player infotainment system. So it's clean, spacious, and a lot of storage spaces for you to store your snacks or drinks while on the road. Now the front seats are super, super comfortable and this in itself is a very big, big plus. I can imagine driving for hours and hours and not having any body aches because it's so plush and it fully supports your body. So this is very nice. So earlier I was told that this particular 2017 Toyota Velfire is quite special. So we all know that it comes with a pair of captain seats for the second row. But I can guarantee you, it is not as luxurious as this. So what you're looking at is a set of Crystal Pilot seats from BOTB or BOTB Machinery if you're planning to look them up on Facebook. So if you're looking to customize your interior to the max, which is what a lot of uh, Velfire and Alpha owners are doing anyway, so why not go for the best. So these ultra premium captain seats come with a lot of function like massage, memory, ambient lighting and best of all, zero gravity mode. If you're planning to travel in the most comfortable way, you need to get the seats from BOTB which stands for best of the best. So based in Seri Kemangan, they also offer other custom jobs for Velfire and other MPVs, like this very beautiful looking Starlight headliner. So not everyone can afford a Rolls Royce, but with this, you can basically experience something similar. And yes, it is very, very nice. So this third gen Velfire is powered by a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, the 2 way RFE, which produces 182 horsepower and 235 newton meters of torque. So, this is then mated to a 7 speed CVT transmission. Is it enough to move this Japanese MPV that weighs just over 2 tons? The answer is yes. It doesn't feel slow to move from a standstill. It can get up to highway speeds in no time, and just like other Velfires you've seen on the highway, it can go quite fast. But the best part has to be the comfort. The sound insulation is quite good. You can barely hear any tire or wind noise and the visibility is just as good. So you can see the front windscreen and the side windows certainly help you to be more aware of the surroundings. As for handling and maneuverability, they're also very good because I had the pleasure to pick up my kids from school and in tight quarters, the Velfire is surprisingly easy to move around. I'm starting to see why Malaysians love the Velfire. Senang nak drive despite the size. Should I buy one? Well, maybe. There are actually a lot of them on car list ranging from 100,000 ringgit all the way up to 500,000 ringgit. But the average should be around 150,000 to 250,000 ringgit. You can also find some units that are actually Carly's qualified, which comes with added warranty. So that's 
very, very nice. If you'd like to know more about the Toyota Valfire or any of the MPV within its nature, just go to our website at Kalizo MY or download our app on your phone. Ciao!